Welcome back. So we're somewhere a bit different today. Uh, usually head straight for Wales because it's closest to where I live but decided to mix it up and we're in the Lake District. Uh, round Buttermere to be precise. So we parked up, done about two and a half miles so far of a, a 10 mile loop that we've planned. Um, as you can see the weather's pretty grey, it's been drizzling so camera's not left the bag yet but it is due to clear up a little bit. I'm hoping we're going to get some breaks in the cloud the rain will die off a little. There's actually some fog due to rolling later, so we're just about to start climbing up onto the tops. Submerged in cloud at the moment, so hopefully that'll uh, ease up a little bit. And hopefully we'll get the cameras out. So just following on from earlier, uh, we've walked from where we've parked, uh, which I'll put in the description down below just so you can get an idea, right along the side of Buttermere and we're at the north end. Uh, so at the north end you start to climb up quite a bit. Um, now there's a good waterfall coming down so we've just found our real kind of first composition and it's this sort of double drop fall you can see behind me. I've just took a quick shot and then the heavens opened and it absolutely peed down for a couple of minutes. So I'm just giving Sam a go in case it, you know, it closes in again. As you can see the cloud up there is still really heavy occasionally lights breaking through uh, but it is due to get a little bit better sort of towards midday uh, we're about it's about half 10 11 o'clock now so i'm hoping the next couple of hours is really going to be a bit better and then the plan is to keep going up there right up the side of the fall and we sort of go round the back up there somewhere and work our way along this ridge line now the 10 mile loop leads us right round the other side down to the south side of Buttermere and back up to the car. I don't know if we're gonna have time for that today. Um, the reason we actually come here is we're scouting for a wild camping trip that we do next month. Uh, the plan is to camp somewhere up behind us, which will be about 70% round the loop when we do it the other way. So the following morning when we're a bit tired and groggy after a terrible night's sleep, no doubt, we won't have a long walk back to the car. So that's what we're doing at the minute. Um, hopefully this rain eases off and I can get a couple more shots up there because I wasn't that happy with my composition. I just needed to fine tweak it a little bit. If I can get that, I'll talk you through the settings and we'll show you the image. Right, so we're back. Rain's died off again. So Sam's had his go. I'm just having another go. There's only really one, one space for one here. So composition I've got. So this is what I'm shooting now. I'm shooting at, uh, we're at 13 mil, so nice and wide. So I'm including Bit of this pool in the foreground, these little falls here, the bigger fall up there, and then it goes all the way up right to where the cloud is over the top. So, like I say, I'm shooting nice and wide, got the polarizer on, doing as much work as it can to try and get a bit of detail under this water here and take the glare off the rocks. Um, I'm also shooting at f6.3, that was mainly just to get the shot of time I wanted, uh, which was around a second. Uh, at that, I'm at ISO 100, keep that nice and low, keep it as sharp as possible. Uh, so yeah, I'll pop it on the screen now. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll keep going all the way up there. We've actually only done about 50 yards after that last shot because we got a little bit up the waterfall and it just revealed a couple of pools, really nice green colours in the bottom of the water and we kind of just looked at each other and thought, you know what, yes we're doing a 10 mile hike but essentially we're here for photography so that was what we did. So I didn't do any videoing but I'll show you the shots at the end. I think one of them possibly my favourite shot and it was actually, we decided to share a tripod so the shot I used was actually just lay on the ground with the camera, dropped it on the ground in a bit of grass and took a shot and I think it might be my favourite. So I'll throw that one up on the end. And I'll, I'll just hit the settings on the screen so you can see. So now we've committed, we've come away from the fall a little bit. 
and we're climbing up. So we're going, where are we going? Straight up above that little waterfall there, and then we hook round that way. No, that way. And we're walking up round there. The full loop brings us back round down this side um, of Buttermere, but like I said, I don't think we're gonna have time for that today, so we're actually dropping down somewhere around that cloud there, we come down and back along the side that we came we came up basically so I'm gonna get a march on up now it's a lot of cloud up at the top by the looks of it it's a lot of fog rolling in so we might not be able to see much when we get up there there might not be much photos but we need to scout for this camping trip so that's what we're gonna do um, if anything reveals itself we get some nice light I'll show you might do a time lapse when we get up there because this fog rolling over is quite interesting let's go While you watch that little time lapse we had a nice bit of lunch and then we've come up onto the top sort of on the ridge line right at the end of Buttermere and um, we're now walking the ridge line back towards Buttermere we've scouted out a couple of camping spots where it's a bit flatter and less rocky uh, unfortunately the light hasn't really been doing anything so Guess hope it gets a bit better as we're coming down. If not, there might be some nice moody shots in the trees or back around bottom here. And even if there's not them, still had a good hike. Still found camping spots. And we know the area a bit better, so feel a bit more prepared. So we're gonna carry on and hopefully this light does as was forecasted. So as you can probably tell, we've dropped down quite a lot now. We was, where was we? We was way over there before we come all the way around and down. Um, the weather's just closed in, I guess. Well, I guess it has. I know that because I'm here. Um, it's been raining just solid now for a couple of hours since we started descending, really. So we've chose the short route back. I think it's going to be about six and a half mile in total. Um, and we're, we're finishing kind of the same end of uh, Buttermere that we started purely just because of the weather both our cameras aren't weather sealed so we're not going to risk getting them out I've not got the microphone on this camera because it's essentially a sponge and as you can see by my gloves they're a sponge as well uh, my legs are wet my feet are wet luckily my coat's nice and waterproof so that's keeping me dry so we're just on the descent now, like I say. Back to the shore, and then we can either decide to go exactly the way we came, um, or continue round Buttermere, but on the other side. To be honest, I don't think it's worth it. Um, the weather's not looking like it's gonna get any better. If it does, that'd be, gr that'd be great, because the lighting after a rain like this is always nice. But you know what? We've done what we came here for, we scouted the camping location um, and we still had a good day, so that's just the way it goes in landscape photography, especially in England or Wales or Scotland, especially Scotland, but you don't get nice lakes of the Lake District without rain, so if it gets better when we get down there, I'll speak to you again, if not, I'll put some more images up at the end now. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button. Um, if you've been around here, if you've got any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see last month's video, click on this link, I think that's right. And to subscribe to the channel, click on this link. Uh, I'd really appreciate you doing that. All the links for the gear are down below as usual. The links to my Instagram page where there'll be more photos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.